Hello. Can <laughs> can everyone hear me? That's hold on. I'm in the wrong screen. Uh oh. Okay. I'm <laughs> today. I'm gonna be coloring this paper. Yes. Cool. If there's anything wrong with it, don't freak out. It's just a sketch. So, yeah. I have a bunch of colors. I usually start off with coloring the skin. Because that's what I do. And I have, like, a little piece of paper on the side where I can, like, test the colors on. But then sometimes I just test the colors on the paper I'm drawing on and then hide it. So, yeah. This is a skin color that I typically go for. And then I do like shading with like this one. And I think those two colors like blend really nicely. Oh. So yeah, this paper is like the less thick one, so it takes a little longer to dry. While well, this one absorbs it like much faster. And you can hear how thick paper is. Like if you just like like that sounds thicker than this. So if anyone has any questions, there's a Q&A up in the chat. So yeah, let's start coloring. I try to be careful about like not getting it where it's not supposed to be, but obviously I mess up a lot. Because everyone does. So I just try to be very careful about it. But when I do mess up, I just go over it with like white paint or like a white paint pen. It usually fixes, but sometimes if it's like a dark color, it doesn't fix itself all the way. So then I have to just do that like five times in a row. But like if I'm using a cheaper paper, it sucks because then that just tears the paper and then I have to start over. So yeah. Um, in case you're like, why is she not coloring the whole leg? It's because she's wearing socks. So, yeah. I need an eraser. Oh, found one. There's a little smudge. You also have to be, like, very careful when you're coloring about, like, pencil smudges. Because, like, it'll show up through the marker most of the time. And it's not the best look. Hands are always, like, really hard to draw because, like, there's, like, always a lot of shading on the hand, but the hand is, like, super small. My camera is 
I think my camera's nervous. It's shaking a lot. Oh, that little patch right there kind of looks like a heart. That might just be me, though. Do -do -do. And this hand, I decided to draw complicated for some reason. Don't know why I did that. But that's okay. See what I mean about how, like, the pencil still shows through, though? Right now, I want the pencil to show through because I need to do lines over it. Like, I don't think everyone always wants, like, the pencil to show through. So just be mindful if you ever color. And you can layer the marker on top of each other to make it more darker for shadows. Because shadows are cool. I kind of wish that blended a little bit better though, but I think it's fine. Sometimes there'll be a lot of shadows, and sometimes there'll only be like a little bit of shadows. A lot of people get confused about where blush should go. And blush in a lot of art styles goes like on the fingertips of the hands, on the cheeks, obviously, on the elbows, and on the knees. Hello, person who said hi. Space dog. Hello. Oh, I can say something. Hi. So, yeah. But what I found interesting when I was learning um, where, like, blush placement is, I found it interesting that it would be, like, on the fingertips. But a lot of people, when they do blush, sometimes they use, like, bright red. And that always looked kind of off to me. It's like, they kind of look like they have, like, a cold or something. And I'm just like, why use, like, bright red? Do, do, do. I'm always super careful about coloring the face because there's a lot of details in pencil and I don't want the marker to smudge it. Sometimes it bleeds into the part of the eye that's supposed to be weight, but then I just go back in with like weight marker, weight gel pen to fix that. Oh, I did not grab my color blender. That would have been smart. Wow, I'm so prepared. Okay. You may not know what a colorless blender is if you don't make art yourself, but it's basically another marker. And it has, it's like basically the same thing, but it can blend two colors together really well. Here, I'll show, I'll show an example. Your art looks so good. Thank you. Question is, can you hear me? Because <laughs> no, I asked if people could hear me and no one said anything. Hold on. Um, because <laughs> YouTube, YouTube says you can hear me, but I don't know if you can actually hear me. Um. <laughs> okay, thank you. What? <laughs> okay, 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 we're good. I panicked, it was like, no one, 
No one's saying anything. <laughs> so, like, basically... Anyways, color lace blender. I recommend using... Most marker sets come with it. That's more... What? Different type of marker. So, put one color. And you put another color. It's obviously easier to like blend colors when they're similar colors so like red and orange yellow and orange just easier and can just do 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 and you just go over it with a colorless blender and it blends two colors together And that can be used when maybe you need to blend something because it didn't blend correctly because the marker dried too fast. Oh, what is happening there? <laughs> Sometimes it just makes it lighter. So, Why is it lifting the color on this paper, but not the other paper? Paper, this is great. It's fine. That's fine. I'll fix it later. <laughs> I'll fix it later. White paint fixes everything, so... Yes. Also, her hair is gonna be pink, which I'm excited about. Maybe I should do the hair now. I'll do the hair now. I need to lighten the pencil a little bit, though. Do -do -do -do. Oh yeah. Also, um, she's floating in space. So, yeah. That's why you see, like, planets and, like, some rocks and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, that... That's bugging me. Sorry! Oh. No. Do do do. And yes, I just smudge it with my finger. <laughs> then put the marker back over it like nothing happened. Oh. And my marker doesn't want to open. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna leave that alone now. It looks so different on camera than it does in real life. That's crazy. That's so weird. Okay, anyway. On camera, it looks better. So I guess that's good. Okay, I'm excited about her hair because it's long and it's pink and i like pink in case you couldn't tell by the background i'm using prisma color markers 
even though like Prismacolor is like most known for like their colored pencils. I don't know how long ago they made markers, but some time ago. Oh yeah, I should probably explain what um, nibs are. So this is called a bullet nib. So if you ever hear me mention, I'm going to use the bullet nib. This is the bullet nib. And the other side, this is a chisel nib because it's big. Also, Crayola markers. Oh, mm -hmm. ignore that. Nothing happened. So Crayola markers are just a really big bullet nib. They aren't a chisel nib because they aren't like, because the chisel nib has a flat edge on it. So. So yeah. And then there's, there's a brush nib. That's a bullet nib, never mind. That's also a chisel nib. I grabbed the wrong marker. This one never wants to open. Why did I grab this one? Okay, anyway, this one, this is a brush nib because it looks like a brush, but it's like a marker. Anyways, I'm going to finish coloring the hair. But isn't this color like looks so pretty with like this skin tone? I have other skin tones, but like surprisingly the cheaper one kind of works better. <laughs> okay. So with like the bullet nib, I just go like around the edges. So that like when I do the bigger part, when I put the bullet when I do the bigger part, I don't want the color to go into the skin because that's not how that works in real life, so. And I don't want to make my life harder. I also do the lines as well. And the first color that you put down is called base colors. And base colors are basically just there so you can add details later. So you aren't going to see me like adding lines in a darker color yet or shading yet because I'm just doing the base colors. And you can see my earbud. That's great. So I'm using the bigger nib to color in. Because, yes, it also helps make it not look like that when it's dry. Because it blends together better when it's wet. There's also two types of markers. There's water-based ones, and then there's alcohol-based ones. So the alcohol-based 
base ones are a little more expensive, but they blend better typically, and they work a lot better. While water-based markers, you can basically turn into watercolor. Which I think is really cool. And water-based markers are usually kids' markers. So it, like, washes off clothing and stuff, like... Crayola, Crazy Art, and, like, all those major kids' brands are, like, water-based. While Copics, Prismacolor, and Ohuhu's are more expensive and alcohol-based. Oh, oh, chat. Oh, my God. Um, the hair looks super cute. Thank you. That looks really good. I can't wait to the see the final result. Thank you so much. My cat is just, like, sitting there staring at the door. <laughs> I was wondering what color I should do this, like, little planet in the corner. Does anyone have any ideas for that? Also, I want to use, like, bright colors or white because since she's in outer space, the background's going to be um, all black with some, like, white stars and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I forgot my gray marker, too. Oh, and I almost dropped my controller. That's great. Blue, blue is a good idea. I actually have this, like, blue... POV your cat. He's just sitting there menacingly. She's actually just staring at me. And yes, menacingly. Wow, I have gray. Oh, I forgot part of the skin. <laughs> Very smart, I know. And since it's, like, gray shading, um, I don't want it to be, like, too harsh of a line, so I'm gonna attempt to blend it out again. Ignore what happened the first time I tried that. There we go. Slightly better than the first time. Wow, it's a shirt. Nice. <laughs> I'm being so careful around the hair right now because, oh, because I don't want that to happen. Because <laughs> I didn't want it to bleed into the hair, but that's fine. I'm going to go over that spot in a dark color anyway. Yeah, okay. Imagine using the correct colors. Oh my gosh, there was this one time where it, like, I straight up used the marker 
that was wrong. So, like, basically, I was supposed to be using blue, and then, like, I used pink instead. And then I didn't realize I was using the wrong one. And then I colored, and I was like, oh, no. But it's okay, because weight paint fixes everything. If you learn anything today from this live stream, wait, weight paint fixes everything. Even if I pronounce it wrong. You understand. Ooh, I like the shading. Cool, nice. I'm doing stuff. And in case you couldn't tell, I uh, suck at fabric folds, but I'm going to try my best anyway. So, yeah. Might use light blue for the shorts. Where is my light blue? There it is. I think this color is really pretty. I mean, I think. From what I remember. It's more of a purple. That's fine. Do do do. Do, 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 do. They're supposed to be denim shorts, but I changed my mind. Because that's what I do. I just change my mind a bunch of times. But honestly, my favorite part is, like, the sneakers because shoes are hard and drawing feet and hands are hard. And then putting shoes on the feet is even harder. So I'm proud of myself for that one. Oh, yeah. I forgot you could see her other leg. I added these little, like, ripples on it. Is that cute? I have no idea, and I can't decide. So, yes. Blending it out so it's not a harsh line. Also, yeah, there technically would be a shadow, like, right here. Like a pretty big shadow, too. I will be right back. My cat wants to be out, so... Yes. So, we already have blue for the colors for the planets does anyone else want any other colors to be on the planets so i will be right back so there is in fact a q and a i don't Okay. Any questions? There's a Q&A, or you can just type it. I really don't care either way. You can do what you want. For the darker color, is the hair is going to use this, like, purpley color. And this is the magical weight highlighter pen that I keep talking about that fixes everyone's mistakes. So yes, it works very well. So I recommend. I like how I said the whole background was going to be black and then I didn't even grab that marker. That's great. 
I don't even know where it went. Okay, I found it. I found it. Okay, we're good. I found it. This is the color of the background. So that's why I'm using a lot of light colors for the character. I might make the socks, like, should I make the socks, like, blue, too? I don't know yet. I know I want the sneakers to be pink, though. I knew that much. I wanted them to be, like, pink and, like, beige. So, like, beige with, like, a pink accent on them. What do we think? That one? Maybe? That kind of looks like another skin tone, though. I, I don't really have a good beige color. That one's kind of dead. Yeah, I don't really have a good beige color. This one's kind of... What happened to this one? I, like, never use this one, but, like, look at it. What? <laughs> That's... I don't know how that works, but okay. And then this side's, like, dry. I don't know what happened to that one. It must be, like, <laughs> badly made. I Yeah, I think I'm gonna do blue for the socks, because, like, you know, there it has clouds on the socks, and I want the clouds to be white, so... Yeah. Um, eraser. This eraser is adorable. Hi, Katie. I hope I said that right. <laughs> but this time, instead of just being like the outlines, I'm going to color in the whole thing. Oh, please don't be streaky. That's gonna suck if this is streaky. I know, I legit just broke my own rule of saying, Oh, do around it first so you don't go out of the lines. So use the smaller one so you don't mess up as much. And then I'm over here not doing that. So do as I say, not as I do. If you want to color in art. Because it's like the same thing for coloring pages. So yeah. I typically don't draw socks either. So like that's new. I was like looking online and I saw these like really cute socks and I wanted to like make really cute socks because like they're like these like knee high socks with like a really cute pattern on it you're doing really awesome keep up the really good work oh thank you so much Currently, my camera is hanging from the ceiling, so. <laughs> so, since she is in space, people are, I thought people were going to be like, how is she breathing? Well, it's this little orb thing is how. And of course it's going to be pink, because why not? Do -do -do, it's now pink. It'd be really cool if people could just, like, float around in space without a spacesuit. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people would want to do that. I find it funny how on camera it looks like orange, but then in real life it still looks like a dark pink.
<laughs> but like for me, the most satisfying part is like doing the lines and the shading and stuff. And I find it really fun. So that's fun. I would try to blend this out, but like, we all saw what happened earlier, and I don't know why that happened, but it did. So now I'm scared to blend it out, but I'm probably going to end up doing it anyway. I might use a different colorless blender. Uh, so, if you weren't here when I explained... If you weren't here when I explained what a colorless blender is, it's just basically something that looks like this, and you put it over two colors and it like blends them together, and it ends up looking like this after. So if you see like a colorless blender in a set and you're like, what does this do? I'm never going to use it. You might use it. So... I'm testing out this one because it's a different colorless blender, and I'm using cool tone colors this time. Uh oh, <laughs> it bled through. I was like, I should pick this up so it doesn't blend through, but that's okay. That area is gonna be space anyway. I was like, does this one look work better? This one kind of picks up the color though, so I don't know. Oh, on camera, it looks so much better. <laughs> so yes. Or should I, like... I'm just testing it out because, like, it's good to test it out on, like, another piece of paper. Other than just, like, going for it and hope it turns out good. Because sometimes it doesn't, and that's much harder to fix. What happens with this one? It, like, moves the color around way too much. I might use the other one. I, I think I'm going to use the other one. And if it doesn't turn out, that's great. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's not it either. That's okay. It's fine. Do, 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 do. And it did the same thing as earlier. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done with colorless blenders for today. I'm, yeah. I'll just blend it differently. Actually, I think that might look good. That kind of looks good. That looks okay. Actually like that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Always say I'm done with the colors blenders, then I'm not. This is when will I learn? At one point, like when I was sketching this, I was like just sketching it upside down. And I draw at school a lot because it helps me pay attention. And, like, the one of our teachers, we all have, like, our own iPads. So, the teacher is, like, updating our iPads while the teacher was teaching. So, we didn't have our iPads for that day. And then the teacher just goes, how do you draw, like, upside down? <laughs> it was, like, really funny. Because it was just, like, randomly, like, during class. So yeah, let's do the same thing I just did to the other sock. All right, there'd be a shadow there. Shadows exist, yep. Time to forget about shadows, I guess. How 
I remember where shadows go or how I figure out where shadows go. It's like basically anytime like something is under something. So like the leg is over that leg. So there should be a shadow somewhere. And if it's not exact, that's fine. Because like any shading at all looks good. Because it's like extra detail. So even if it's not 100%, it's okay. I don't really worry about it too much. As long as it like looks decent. Especially with art. Like stressing out about like every single little thing. As like not really too helpful. So it's best not to. Because when you're stressed about like this one little thing. And then you feel all stressed out, like trying to do something else after, you might mess it up too. Because you're just too stressed about, about like that one thing you messed up. So, if you're making art, try not to get too stressed out. A lot of the times I hear from beginner artists that like, Oh, I get stressed out when I make art because I think it looks bad. Honestly, there's, like, a lot of artists that, like, don't have as much detail in their work. And people will like it better if it has, like, a really good story behind it. So if it has, like, a really cool cool story behind it and it's, like, a really good idea, like, people are going to like it anyway. So, like... The concept, most of the time, is better than, like, that, like, how realistic it looks or, like, how accurate it is to something or, like, how good it is in general. Because, like, I've seen a lot of people, like, win art contests, like, even though they may think they aren't the best artists because they had a really good concept idea. And their art was, like, interesting to look at. And I used the color as plunder. I just said I wasn't going to. Huh. That's okay. I'm kind of avoiding the face, in case you haven't noticed, because I'm scared of the face. And, yeah. For the shoe, I wanted the pink to be an accent, but I can't find a good color for it. I was thinking of, like, this color. Like, I don't know if that's too close to her skin. Actually, I can, like, swatch her next to her skin. Okay, water break. Boop. So, yeah. Oh, I have to click on the questions. Okay, okay, there's questions. Okay, there's questions. Okay, I'm just didn't see it. This is my first stream, okay? What's your favorite art piece? I wish I could get it out and um show it, but like I think you mean like one that I made? So like one I made was like uh, the same character, but it, she was like in the ocean and she had like a lot of water around her. I might be able to find it. Hold on. Digging in my art stuff. It's somewhere in there. Hold on. Um, it's somewhere. Is it in the folder? Oh, oh, I found it, I found it, I found it. Ah! One of my favorites is probably, like, this one. Because of the, because of the water. It looks completely different on camera. Yeah, I just really like the water. But then I brought, I brought my art supplies to school. And then, um... Someone stole three of my blue markers, so that's been fun. And 
and someone asked where I get my ideas from. It's typically, like, scrolling on Pinterest, honestly. It's, like, an outfit that inspired it, or, like, sometimes just a background could inspire a character, honestly. Or, like, I could be looking, I was like, oh, I see these cute shoes, I'm gonna draw a whole character now. It's, sometimes it's silly like that. Sometimes it's, like, the color pink. What would that look like as a character? Or it would be a pose. Like, for this one, it was the pose. And I was like, well, I really like this pose. But like, the reference photo, she does dynamic poses for scenes. And I think she's really cool. I don't know the original creator, because Pinterest, you can, like, repost it a bunch of times. It's so, like, I don't know what her actual name is. But she's really cool. But in a lot of her poses, it's obviously not, like, actually seen or anything. And it's not for any specific thing. And, yeah, so I basically, like, copied that pose. But I changed it a little bit differently, obviously. And I was like, hey, it kind of looks like she's floating in space. So I'm going to make her floating in space. Okay, can you get... The markers are placed by buying one at a time, or do you have to buy the whole set again? That's a really good question. So, like, with, like, the cheaper markers, you have to buy the whole set again, but there's, like, less markers in the set. I actually don't know about Prisma colors. Are there... I'm googling. Color refills. Yeah, you... Um... You can't refill Prisma colors or Hoo Hoo's, even though they're like a bigger set. But Copic markers, they're like the most expensive, like high quality markers that a lot of artists, when they can afford, they get. And those you can refill. Like you can refill those a lot. Also, the alcohol markers typically don't die out as fast because when the tip of the marker dries out, you can just put more like alcohol on it like rubbing alcohol and you can use it until the ink actually like dries out like there's no more ink so like the ink is like this whole thing so like typically lasts a lot longer and with copics you have to refill them a lot so yeah any more questions if you don't know how to do the q a that's fine I was going to say it looks more than more HD than the video he just posted. Yeah, I'm using my webcam for my computer instead of my phone. Which, again, it's hanging from the ceiling, so <laughs> that's been fun. Trying to get it to hang from the ceiling. I actually really like the background being white, though, so I don't know. Basically, the character lives in a whole different universe, so I can basically do whatever I want, even though she's in space, and, you know, space is typically, like, black background with a bunch of stars, but that will look cool, too, so I'm not too worried. So this is, like, I have- the only Copic markers I have is, like, the skin color set, and yeah. Copics aren't really my favorite, but I really like the skin tones that they had. Because I felt the skin tones were, like, really accurate. When, like, some sets have, like, a lot of sets just do skin tones that could also be used as other colors. Instead of just the skin tones. So, basically, I just use, like, I just use, like, this, like more pinkish skin color for the lines. Some Wendy, hi Wendy. It's my grandma, hi grandma. Is there something you prefer to draw like a character or animals? What is your favorite thing? I really like doing character art, but when I couldn't draw characters 
too well and I wasn't really too happy with characters. My favorite thing used to be animals. But now it's kind of more characters. But like actually like every character has an animal as like a pet. So like characters and animals are like my favorite. I also like doing backgrounds, but like they take a while. <laughs> backgrounds just like take way too long. That's why I did like kind of a simple background for this one with like a couple planets and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna do the line art for the skin. I prefer colored line art over like just like lines because I think it looks better personally. But for a lot of people, it's just easier to, like, have one color for the lines to define everything. The only part that I'd, like, recommend for black lines is, like, eye like eyeliner. Or, like, for the eyes. To line the eyebrows. And the face, because, like, it can get really small really quickly. So, yeah. I'm going to line the What I found, what I find cool about, like, um, the brush nib, which looks like this, um, is that you can do, like, really small, small lines, like this. It's really small. Or you can do, like, really big lines, like that. And I found that really cool. And a couple, um, in about, like, three minutes, I'm gonna check the questions thing again you can ask as many questions as you like whether it's like it doesn't have to be out art it could be like what's your favorite animal or something <laughs> like honestly so yeah also remembering blush placement surprisingly it goes on the elbows don't ask me how that works because i don't know but i think it looks cute so i still do it like that but I really like this color because it's, like, a blush, like, a blush color, kind of. But it's not, like, over the top. Like, some people will do, like, straight up red for blush. And I don't understand why. Like, I understand if, like, they don't have, like, a good blush color. But, like, if they do it and call it, like, a style. Like, in digital art, especially. It kind of just makes the person look a little sick. Like, they have a cold. But some people think it looks cute. Like, it was, like, a trend in real life. Or it was, like, a lot of blush. So maybe they really like that trend or something. I'm glad you guys know how to use the Q&A thing because I don't. I just know how to set it up. <laughs> do, 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 do. Shading is like one of my favorite parts though. Like line art kind of makes me anxious but like shading is like kind of relaxing because I don't have to worry as much. Because, like, when I'm coloring in, like, large areas, I have to worry about it looking streaky and it not looking good. So that's always a big concern. And remember, you, you can recommend any colors. Like, if you think the shoes should be, like, a different color, then you can say so and stuff. Especially for the planets, though, because I just kind of grabbed a couple random colors, honestly. Also, for shading, since, like, the knee is covered, I don't really put blush on the knee still. Even though a lot of people do that, I don't think it's necessary. For the face, the shading's a little bit more complicated. 
so like you do where like the hair is it's like underneath the hair and right next to it and to like do line art for the face obviously Which, if I'm silent for it, it's because it's, like, the hardest part. <laughs> Especially in bigger drawings, because this face is so small. Okay. What is your most favorite thing to do when you're not doing art? It's probably, um, dancing or singing. Because even though I probably want to do it, like, professionally or anything, it's still really fun. Can you sing for us? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Should I <laughs> put a poll up? Should I sing? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, I hit my camera again. That didn't happen. You see nothing. Oopsie. That didn't happen. Okay. Nothing happened. Um, I am not singing though. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'll sing a different time. I'll sing a different time. That could be a sub goal. S sub goal for singing. What do you think? What do you guys think? Um. <laughs> Oh yeah, the shoes. I completely forgot to color the shoes. I just go into shading and I'm just like, oh yeah, I'll worry about the shoes later. Anyway, so like, they have this like little design on them right here and I wanted that part to be pink, but I'm still not sure about the other color. Ooh, maybe I could do like a light purple. That could look cool. But yes. I'm still really proud of the shoes because... Yes. I'm very proud of shoes. Sorry, I randomly said yes. Someone said yes in the chat. Oh, oh, poll. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I didn't press enter. Um, there we go. There we go. There's a poll now. Oh my gosh, there's a timer. Oh, it just glitched. That's fine, though. So that's basically like the design. You might have seen the design. Oh, a lot of sneakers. <laughs> oh, everyone say yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Everyone says yes to singing. I was just gonna ask if you could make the shoes purple. You mean the shoes, right? Everyone, yes, you're singing. Yeah, I'll make the shoes purple. It's like this really pretty light purple too. That doesn't look very light. Um, It's supposed to be lighter. Well, it's probably not dry yet. That's fine. That's okay. Oh, yeah. This little part right here is supposed to be pink, too. 
Oh yeah, also when I make um art, I just plan out what colors I'm going to use typically and then like as I'm coloring, I just like I'm like, "Oh, I'll just figure out the other co colors later." You like it? Thank you. Ah. So This purple better turn out a light purple. If not, then why is it so light when it says it's not going to be? Because look how light it is on the marker. Like. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. probably gonna leave like the rest of the shoe wait though yeah i'm gonna lighten that purple typically if i put weight over it it just like makes a really light version of that color doesn't happen every time but if it doesn't work this time i'm not trying it again Do do do. It's I, I find it kind of weird how like some markers from the same set react differently to like the weight over it because some just become lighter and some just like it just covers it just fine. So it's kind of just like why. I will put um right here to see if I go over it again if it'll make it lighter but like yeah we'll come back to that someone said blue for the planet and I'm thinking this light blue and like this purple and maybe the ring could be like green that would be cool to turn purple a little bit might be able to see it but oh what if i can use like the moral blending 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 Okay. Oh, you can't even see it. Okay, I'm so I'm so good at this. Sometimes you have to press down kind of hard to get to blend though, which kind of sucks sometimes. And may or may not be the reason why my camera is shaking. But you know, it happens. So basically, you put the lighter color over like the darker color bunch, and then you just like try to like do that until it gets rid of the hard line. So it looks softer. And it's how blending works. Personally, I think like blending is like really fun. But yeah. That's how that looks. Okay, let's check the QA. See if there's any new ones. There's no new ones. It's been like five minutes, honestly. I was like, I know there's like asteroids, but like I don't want it to like blend into the background too much. 
like I was thinking like maybe I could do like a different color I think that would look cool like maybe like orange rocks or something oh yeah for the planet I'm just gonna put like some dot shading at the bottom because I really like doing that for planets so you just add a bunch of dots Wow, you can see now. <laughs> so like when you first start, you put a lot of dots and really close together. But as you go up, you put less dots and you put them farther apart. So that's fun. So yeah, I really like adding dots like this. I forget what it's called, but in some art styles, it's a type of shading. Anyways, we're jumping around a lot, but back to the shoes. I want to see how that purple looks over the weight. It looks a lot lighter. Maybe not on camera, but yeah. Oh, yeah, that's definitely better. That is so much lighter. See, because, like, if I put the weight down first, the paper doesn't absorb the ink too much. So that prevents it from coming darker. But it's, like, kind of hard to color evenly so I wouldn't do it for like large areas but for like small areas like the shoes it's fine so how did that happen I, I don't know when I did that but I probably did that that's just me not paying attention Well, I actually like that color a lot better now. I'm going to do the soles of the shoes pink too. Because why would I not? Also, fun fact, I made this character when I was like a lot younger. Like, back in elementary school. Like, those lines you have on the bottom of the shoe? Yes. Because, of course, I had to put those. And a little heart. So that's really fun and colorful. The laces. They're also in pink, so don't ask why. But they're pink. <laughs> so, yay, we did it. Well, nowhere close to done, but... Yay, we got so far. Okay. Q&A? Hello? Hello. Okay. Oh, I'm really nervous to do the face. I kind of feel like just using a pen, honestly. Like, <laughs> my pen is gone. Oh, never mind, I found it. Like, I typically do, like, black eyeliner, but I think I want to do pink today because I'm feeling fancy, and I'm just going to use a pen because it's so small. Like, 
my small markers are like still too big. Like I'll show you how small my markers can be. Like the line markers. Yeah. So like these are line markers for doing line art. And that's the brush side. And the other side is this is really small. This is like the really small one for really small lines. And like this one's like slightly smaller. So I'm going to use the pen. Also, I'm using a ring light because it would look like this without a ring light. Wow. Sorry if that hurt anyone's eyes because it hurt mine. So let's do the pen. This I'm gonna be silent for this part because it, I need to focus on it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 I did it. Okay. The thing that kind of sucks about the color line is that she doesn't really have a pupil, but I think it looks fine anyway. So I think that's fine. I think that's good. Eyelashes. You can't even see the eyelashes. Oh my god. There you go. The eyelashes are so small you can barely even see them. I'm trying to get rid of some of the pencil. Yeah, but the lines that look right there, it, it looks like the skin, but it's, like, actually just pencil. So that's good. Oh, bottom lashes. Bottom lashes. Also, like, these pens are so cute. Like, it's weird looking up and, like, trying to do stuff because it's, like, the opposite direction. So right now I'm going left. But on your screen, I'm going right. So it's kind of just, like, what? <laughs> Oh, I have it open on, like, another channel, and it's so delayed. It's not even funny. Oh, I think I should write her name in, like, pink right here. Oh, wow, it's backwards. <laughs> anyway, um, her name is spelled like this. Oh. I'm spelled like that, and it's pronounced Salacia. So that's cool and fun. Time to do lines for the hair. Woo. I don't know if that's exciting or not, but it is now. Like little, this like dark purpley color. I'm just gonna add lines to the hair because I think that looks cool. For some reason, I wanna blend it together right now, but like, I did that with like everything else. I don't know, should I? I maybe I should blend it. I am that one person right now who blends everything. I guess it's because I don't feel like harsh lines today, but still. People are probably like, oh no. But it's okay, I can just go over it with more. Pink. Wait. 
We're gonna wait for that to dry, see if I like it more or not. Even though doing what I just did contradicts everything I said earlier about, like, don't just go for it. Test it out on a different piece of paper first. But, you know, that's kind of just what I do. I already decided I don't like it. Because it's, like, blending outwards, and, like, I don't want to do that, so. Yeah, we aren't going to be doing that on the rest of the hair. You probably noticed by now I didn't put blush on the cheeks. Because I was scared to. Because blending! <laughs> oh, I have to blend that now. And I'm scared of blending now. That's the gray. That's the gray. That is the gray. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I almost used the gray. They look identical, okay? That would have been so bad if I used the gray. There we go. Oh, it looks so good. Well, on camera. In real life, it needs to dry. But on camera, it looks good. So, yes. It looks really good. Oh my god, I heard a car outside and it scared me. If anyone has any more questions, ask away. I like adding, like, these little, like, um, curly-ish bits just sticking up. Because I think it adds, like, an extra detail and more depth to the hair. And I always think hair is fun to draw anyway, so. I always get super no nervous when doing hair around the face. It's like, I don't want to mess up the face. You know? I should probably put this higher up. Yeah. Now I just have to do those two bits. I'm gonna go around with like the same color to again add more depth. Cause I kinda just think it helps add more variety to the hair. It makes it a little more fun.
I'm going to add more hair strands. And the faster you go with a bit, like if I draw really fast with a bullet nib, the lines will be thinner. But you also have less control of the lines, so just be careful. So yeah. How much money would it take for you to drop everything for only art? Like, like, or just, because I want to do an art job, like, no matter what, so, I guess, like, as long as I, as long as I'm alive and can survive and be fine, then it doesn't really matter. So I'm late into the chat. Is this, is there a particular character you're drawing? Oh, someone answered. Oh my god. Salacia is the character she's drawing. Yes. Character Salacia. It's written on her shirt, but it's backwards. So I guess that's not too helpful. It would really help if people would actually read it. But, you know. There could be a way for me to like mirror it somehow, so I can see what I'm seeing, but I don't know how to do that. So, yeah. Also, when drawing hair, it's better to do like one one big blob and then put in extra strands. So like I basically started with the basic shape of this and then I added this, 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 and these two pieces and also the bangs. And it's better than drawing, trying to do like, it's better than just trying to do like every single individual strand at a time. Because our hair is basically just like one big shape typically. With like a couple pieces sticking up and stuff. Oh, you can read it as Salacia? Good. Yeah, it's backwards and it's kind of small, so I understand if some people can't. Should I do the background and then the planets or should I do the planets? I think I'm just going to go to the background because it's making me nervous. So I'm going to do the background around the character first because it's going to take a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah, so time for the background. You're like, oh, but that's such a small thing. There's another side. So that's always good. But yeah, I have to be very careful about how I do this. So that doesn't ruin the character. And if you're wondering why I didn't do it first. It's because. Um, when I was doing the blending. Some of the black could have gotten mixed in with it. And then I wouldn't be able to blend anymore. being very careful about this. 
Oh, I forgot to do the clouds on the socks. That's okay, though. I'm just using my finger to blend it out a little bit. Oh, that's really hard to see. I don't even think I need to blend that out. So when you're drawing clouds, just think of like a bunch of bubbles just together. So that's basically what clouds are. Some some other ones. Be nice if you could see it. <laughs> um, yes. So like it's helpful for me when I'm drawing. So like the clouds are pointing this way because her legs up like that. So I just turn the paper that way. So I'm just drawing clouds, you know, straight instead of sideways because that's just too confusing. My brain does not want to handle that. What is your favorite art show? Honestly, I don't go to art shows too often. Um, but, like, anyone that... Like, any art show that I'm in, I always really enjoy. Because it's like... Because, like, even if you're in an art show, you can like take a break and like walk around see what other people are doing and you can just talk to other artists and stuff and it's really cool it's a good way to make friends too So basically, after I do the background around the character, it'll be much faster to do the rest of it, because the character is just the hardest part. I'm really scared for that part right there, but I think it'll be fine. It's starting to look really cool and I'm going to check the Q and A. There's no more questions for right now. That part kind of looks a little too blended together. So I'm going to like... Fix that. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Also, don't feel bad if like you're doing like a coloring page or something or if you're just drawing for fun. Like if you go over lines, because artists do that all the time. Honestly, well, 
most artists anyway. Some don't because digital art, obviously. But it happens to everyone at some point, no matter like how skilled they are. Like I do it every time, honestly. Like I did it multiple times here. I feel like making the background like a galaxy is like a cool idea too. Because like the bright colors of the character and the dark background make the character pop out more. Especially since she a lot of her clothing colors are very, very light and stuff. And also just adding stars is like one of my favorite things to do. Just putting paint on a paintbrush and flicking it at whatever. Even though sometimes it gets on the character. But that's fine. I don't I'm not too worried about that happening. And after I go around the character, the process is going to go a lot faster. Also, after the stream, I'm going to make a speed paint version of it. So if you don't have time to watch the whole thing, that's fine. But you'll be able to see the whole process. So don't be too worried. Yes, this is like my art thing. If there's any extra background showing, my desk is glass. So I just put this down because there's no need to see my floor. I, I'm so nervous about the hair part, so if I'm silent, that is why. Ooh. Let's do another poll. I I wonder what else can I what, what can I do? Can start a poll and start a Q and A. Um. All right, options. Okay, let's do what's your favorite color? What's your favorite color poll? Red, orange, yellow. Can I only do four options? Are you kidding me? Um. Okay. Well, four colors. Red slash orange slash. Okay, what about like warm colors? Cool colors. Pastel colors. And neutral colors. So to clarify. Warm colors are like red, orange, pink. Yeah. Cool colors are like blue and stuff. 
pastel is just like a light version of that color and neutral color is like black gray and brown It's very interesting. Half warm colors and half cool colors. That's really cool. I think some people left the stream, just like left the stream running, went to go do something else because only two people voted. So <laughs> that's okay though. If you don't want to, um, don't want to vote, that's fine. Let's do another one. Um, hmm. What's your favorite type of art? Since, you know, I was asked. What should I put on it? Um, let's do cute animals. Um, characters. Abstract. And, um, paintings, paintings. There we go, there we go. And if you're wondering why I'm asking, it's because it's to make better content that you guys would like. Because if you guys really like cute animals better than, you know, character art, then I'm going to make more cute animal videos. Because why not? Because if that's what you like watching, then why would I not do it? Okay. I'm gonna wait until more people vote on that. So that's not 50-50. So now I can do the bigger, bigger end. So this is probably like the boring part. So that's why I'm posting a bunch of polls and stuff.
because honestly, like, I never type in the chat at all. I only just do polls because I think polls are fun because they're anonymous. This marker is like dying. <laughs> Okay. Three votes. Two. Come on, one more person. We can. Ooh, abstract. Someone said abstract. I don't really do abstract art on here. Maybe I should I do that? Should I do abstract art more? <laughs> There's children screaming outside. Don't worry, they aren't getting kidnapped. Oh, I mean, at least I think they aren't getting kidnapped. <laughs> Why are there kids outside right now, though? Hold on. Yeah, just kids having fun. I was like to make sure though. He's probably a kid like afraid of a bug or something, honestly. Cause like there's like they're screaming and then like there's like another person laughing. It's a little streaky, but that's okay. It's just gonna be covered by a bunch of stars anyway. <laughs> and my cat wants to be let in. Be right back. I'm back. Hello. I should get like a cat cam. 
So you just, when I get boring, you just look at the cat. Because they're so loud, oh my god. Like, I wanna have my window open because snow. And these kids are just like screaming. And I know they're kids screaming because, like, I can hear them talk, like, talking after. Does anyone want another poll? Honestly. I'm like, who wants another poll? Thing is, like, this marker is, like, really light if you go slow. No, if you go slow, it's fine. But, like, if you go too fast, it gets really light. Which is kind of annoying me, because I wish I could go faster right now. Anyway, for right now, I'm going to move back to the planets because I'm getting bored. So this is, they basically live in a different galaxy. So basically, they have two suns. Which I added because I messed up in one of my drawings. And now they just have two suns. So this is one of their suns. And their other sun looks like a normal sun, like our sun. So, yeah. So I basically accidentally colored the sun in the wrong spot in the drawing. And then I was like, oh no, I need to fix this. So then I just made it two suns. And I was like, yep, part of the story now. Because I messed up. But hey, it works. We're gonna do like this lighter one in the middle though. Oh, it's good. Anyway. This is like a pale yellow. And then it's like two bright colors. Bright color, bright color. I'm doing the next bright color. And like a pale color in the middle for some contrast. I don't know if I like these two colors right next to each other, but I'll leave it for now. And I think I want to do the asteroids in that orange color. So they're kind of like lava rocks, but like literally look like lava.
It's like a little asteroid belt, kind of. Which I find fun. Does, would anyone like another pull? Or is that boring? I don't know. Also, yes, Q&A questions. I will be glad to answer any questions. Looking like. Cool, cool. It's like weird, like this marker dries out, you put the cap back on, and then it's not dried out anymore. It's kind of confusing. I'm just going to use the other side every time it does that. Oh, the cat scared me. It's kind of satisfying watching it be, like, blocked in a lot. I don't know why I didn't just use paint. But, like, I feel like using paint would kind of just be too risky. Because it would, like, it could smudge easier. <laughs> That's not satisfying. They probably annoyed a lot of people. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna do another poll anyway. I know, like, I don't know. Um, do you like the art? <laughs> yes or no? No one better say no, because I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> and then everyone says no to troll me. Oh my god. That'd be sad. Does everyone know I'm gonna click no, because... I'm going to be funny. Okay, it, it's one vote. Should I end it now so no one says no? I'm ending it so no one says no. <laughs> wow, everyone likes it. Yay. Thank you to that one person, by the way. Do, 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 do. 
tutto. Now how I was speaking about cute animal drawings earlier, well later today I'm posting a video about a cute frog. Cause frogs are cute. It's a little mochi frog. I knew it was midnight moon. Hi Ruby. How are you? You guys can call me Ruby or Nyx. Okay, okay, thank you. I just say whatever part of the name um, I hopefully won't pronounce wrong. So... <laughs> Yeah, how are you? I still can't wait to add stars, and I think it's a really cool way to add stars. And where did my white paint go? Hold on. I'm losing everything. Okay, okay, I think I found it. Okay, I found it. This is something every artist needs. Apple Barrel. Really cheap. Walmart. Or Target. I think Target. I don't know. But it's acrylic paint. It's really good. And it fixes all your mistakes. And a paint pen. And just a gel pen. It It's amazing. Trust me. I like doing the edges. I don't... Well, I hate doing the edges, but, like, I like just doing it like that. So that I don't get it on this beautiful matte thing. It's just a scrap fabric that was, like, a dollar. So, yeah. You can have a nice YouTube background without spending a lot of money. You just get fabric squares. Oh, my God. I have a Galaxy fabric that I could have used, and, um, my brain just goes pink, so, it's pink now. Oh, that spot's gonna annoy me. Eh, eh, eh. As you can see, I'm very nice to my markers. Oh, stop shaking. That made it worse. Oh my god, we're almost done coloring it in! Okay, okay. I'm gonna get water on it. Oh no. Okay, since that part is like getting dried out again somehow, I think I'm just gonna go over here. See how. See how. Okay, anyway. I just don't wanna mess up the asteroids too much, so. Well, this one's kind of, kind of gets a little dry on me if I go too fast, so. That could be why the ink probably just isn't flowing out as fast as I'm drawing. So, fun fact, um, I don't think anyone asked. I'll, ch I'll check, hold on. No one asked, but, like, um... So, basically, it takes me on average, like, two hours to color, like, an art piece like this. Or, like, a background and everything. And, like, the art I do for shorts doesn't typically take too long. I typically do the sketch at school and then, like, color it at home, which only takes about 30 minutes to an hour. But, like, bigger ones take, like two, three hours, two hours, three minutes, yeah.
I, I finally got to open my window. It got a little bit hot in here. So I just want to mute, turn my fan on for a second, because I know that noise annoys some people, so. Yeah. I really like the orange asteroids. It might not be like everyone's favorite thing, but I think I kind of like it. Also, if anyone wasn't here, the character's name is Felicia. Has anyone ever seen um, those people that do those people that like make the stars of like toothbrushes? I'm gonna be doing a similar thing, but with a normal paintbrush because I'm not using a toothbrush for that, <laughs> honestly. Sorry that I keep shaking the camera. It's just I'm coloring really fast and it shakes the desk a little bit. And that just a little bit makes my camera go, I'm going to shake now. So sorry about that. <laughs> I'm trying to get this part done as fast as possible. Yeah, see, it kind of, like, dies out a little bit, and then it comes more, like, gray, which is really weird. Like, these little bits I can do with, like, the smaller nibs so I can go faster. Like, I definitely can't do, like, the bigger part with it. And it looks really good so far. I still need to do the ring. Ignore that. Don't, just, oh, don't, don't look at it. Okay. Shake the marker. Ooh, shaking markers. Wow, so interesting. Why is this marker dying on me? It sucks, too, because, like, if I use a different black marker, it's not going to match, because for some reason, you know, it can be different shades of black somehow, even though it's, like, just black. And that just, like, doesn't make sense to me. I don't know if I just, like, had this marker out too long or something, and it's, like, dried out. But, like, come on. I might have to do the rest of this with the other side. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. I, I can do it. 
did it do? Honestly, the marker wasn't meant for filling in backgrounds anyway, so I'm not too upset about it. Honestly, it's a little streaky. Well, not a little streaky, very streaky, but that's okay. It's gonna be covered with a bunch of stars. No one's gonna notice. Also, when I said the method of the stars being out of control, I really meant it, so. Oh, we're so close. To being done. Poor marker, don't die on me yet. Oh, come on. We're so close. We are so close. Come on, one more line, please. Ah. Work. Oh my god. Come on. So basically, the paper is absorbing the ink, but then I need new ink to use the marker. And so, yeah. Okay, 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 we're so close. Oh, you're so close. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, who is your favorite musical artist? That's a great question because I don't know. Um, but I do like pop music. So, I do have a whole music playlist that's public, though, of songs that I like, because I like too many. Okay, okay. Oh, it's so streaky. It's so streaky. The thing is, like, right there, I mean... Right there on camera, it doesn't look streaky, but on camera it looks streaky. So then I have to go over it because it looks streaky on camera, and I cannot handle that. Let's probably go over this area again. Gee, it's so cute. Thank you.
Okay, so I'm going to put my markers away now. And I'm going to add the stars. I have little art drawers where I put my markers. Which is somewhat organized, but it's not like always perfectly organized because I'm a messy person. I usually organize them by brand. And I just hit my hand. But fun fact, it's better to store markers on the side than like up and down, like in like a pencil holder. Because if you like, if you store, because you're supposed to store it like this, like on its side, like, like that. But like, typically people store it like this. And then it's kind of just like, you know, it's because, like, the ink runs evenly to both sides. But if you just have a marker like this, like, without the two sides, it's fine to store. Like, upright. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I can't see her face. Okay, okay. We got it. Now that I put down the black people... The people. The camera is just, like, I don't want to focus on anything now. Oh my gosh, that looks white next to black. It's yellow. Okay, so we have this paint, and let's get a paintbrush. So you're gonna wanna have like a little bit of water on it. This is like super easy to use, by the way. This came out beautiful. Thank you, it's not done yet. <laughs> I know someone you should give it to. Hmm, I, I wonder, who is it? Okay, so the weight now. So yes, yeah, so you do want to have a little bit of water on your brush. But like not too much because then it will be like watery. It's just so you can flick it off. And like a little bit of paint. But again, not too much. She looks like she's floating in the atmosphere. She's in space. Okay, and then you just flick it like that. Personally, I like to do this way too much. So I do it a lot of times. Oh, sorry, that's so loud. If it gets on the character, it's fine. She's in space. What do you expect? Sadly, it kind of ruins your brushes, but that's okay. Uh, it just, like, have a specific brush to do this with. I got on her face. 
It's okay. It's highlights. It's fine. Also, if you mess up, you can scratch it off, typically. Ooh. Also, if you mess up, you can just dab it in. So it looks like a little cluster of stars. I might do that elsewhere, too. Just like... Now my fingerprints are in it forever. Mwahaha. So it's like a cluster of stars. Or space gas, because that's a thing. Ooh, maybe around her hand? I know I look like a child when I just, like, randomly put lines like that. Now it's all magical and stuff. Aggressive dabs. Because it's magical. And so is she. So, yeah. That was very fun. Look at my hand. Oh, it's in my nail. Okay. I have one more poll for you before we go. Do you like it? Oh, you love it? Thank you. I should have just put two yes options. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do something very important. Hold on. Something, something very important. Highlights in the eyeballs. Very important. Now she doesn't look dead inside. Maybe I'll, like, line the laces a little bit. There we go. That looks a little better. Ooh, I need to sign it! Okay, there we go. I kind of want to put a little bit of pink in that. Yes, I have. Of course, I have a pink paint pen. Cause why would I not? So cool. I actually really like how this came out. Should I add pink to the clouds? Ooh. Maybe not. I don't I don't I, I don't like that. Back, 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 back button, but not really. Just weight paint. Okay. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Oh, any last questions?
Like, did anyone miss anything? Or they? Like, oh, 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 oh! I forgot something. I forgot something. I need to use a ring. There we go. There we go. Oh, I need to highlight this one too. Oh my god, I was like, I need to highlight this in the direction of the sun, but this is the sun. So, everything's highlighted. Woo! Random! Ooh, it's probably also have, like, the little... So, also kind of have, like, the... The space gases around it, because it is light, and it's the sun. And that's just my logic, so. Do you do? Oh no. And very bright. Do I like that? I don't know. There we go. I might as well make the other one glow a little bit too. there we go and it's all done now Woo! little close-up moment so yeah hope you enjoyed and oh yay questions so we're gonna end the Q&A So, oh, I don't want to remove all the questions, though. Um, do you name your art, and do you give it a title? I don't typically give my art a title unless it's for a YouTube video. And, like, 
so yeah and if you do what name would you give to this one i'd honestly just call this one floating space girl <laughs> very generic basic name but it gets the point across so yeah